Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go out and about and uh, look for more nails, as usual. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to give you an update on where we are. Uh, I've been attacked once or twice since the last episode. Ooh, it was a crate. And, you know, managed to hold everybody off. I am not going, I'm not chasing them down anymore. Because, again, I want to kind of lie low, so to speak. And, um... That way we can get out and get stuff without them just blowing the shit out of our base. There we go. We got 14 nails out of that. That's not bad at all. Uh, we're going to need to turn some of those into uh, arrows for ourselves. Um, but as far as the base itself goes, my plan, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, building it up. To maybe the top of the cliff just run a wall like you know all the way up there a, maybe a single wall or a double wall probably just a single wall and then have a platform up top and then on that platform we're going to put windmills and solar panels you know when, when we get to the point where we can afford them uh, so that's kind of the plan that i currently have for that oh for pete's sake We missed twice. Oh, for goodness sakes. You gotta be kidding me. Should have just done that in the first place. For Pete's sake. Anyway, um, yeah, so the plan is to uh to build it up high enough to where, you know. Uh, the hunters aren't going to lob grenades and shit down on top of it. it. Doesn't actually necessarily have to be all the way at the top either, really, now that I think about it. But maybe if we go two more walls up or something like that, and then build a platform coming out maybe this way, and then that's where we'll put uh, our stuff. We might even make it elaborate enough to where we could put our farm plots out there, you know, when it's when the weather warms up. Speaking of which, I did uh, finally harvest everything that was in here. Got a little bit of cotton. And so I just have potatoes and stuff going there. I kind of, you know, if I had more cotton seeds, I'd plant them now. But I don't really want to plant any more of these seeds right now because I want to save room for cotton seeds. So cotton is still a big deal. Uh, even though I've made most of the clothing, uh, we have repairs. And if you look at my clothing, it's, it's not in very good shape. And we cannot lose our coat. If we lose our coat, we are... Um, not it not we can't lose it <laughs> that's all it is to it we just can't do that uh all right let's put the fat in there so um with i had two or three cotton plants in here i can't remember uh now but uh i was able to harvest them and that gave us uh eight cotton so that should be that should be enough to for us to repair our coat which is the most important thing so we need um a couple of sinew and a was it three of those i can't remember um Oh, we need six of those in... I, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to wait a little bit longer um, before we before we try and repair those. Um, you know, wait till it completely breaks, just because I want to stretch it out as far as I possibly can with resources, you know, being as limited as they are. Uh, okay, so let's grab some wood. I, I, I still have a little bit of touch-up repairs to do, so let's just use... Actually, you know what, though? I want to save... Here, let's split this in half. Uh, I want to save six nails there for some arrows. And then, um, let's see, what do we got going on here? So that's... Ooh, that needs a little touch up there. That's not in terrible shape. I was down at the pond fishing because I needed some oil. That needs a tap. And... Uh, I had a big attack on the base. I mean, just explosion after explosion. And when I came back, um, this wall was destroyed, so I had to rebuild it. I'll tap that one, too, and maybe that one. Okay, that leaves us three nails. Uh, let's look at the foundations real quick. Yeah, okay, they're not in too bad a shape. Uh, what about these walls? Yeah, these walls are okay. All right, so let's grab um, a board there, and I just want to tap that. And okay, we're not in, we're not in too bad a shape actually. 
Let's take the remaining two nails and add them to the other ones for arrows. And uh, let's see, so we're going to need some sticks. One, two, three, four. That'll give us eight sticks. Okay, so we'll put that back. Actually, let's top off our two fires here and grab whatever ash is currently in there. Do I have any fat going? Yeah, we got some fat there. And let's see. I'm, I'm always keeping two fat in there for the medical thingamadoodle. Uh, but let's throw that in there and just keep building our power up. I did make a lock pick too, so we're good to go there. And, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty good to go on mass. Once this gets to 100, then I'll start building it up even further by putting stuff into there. Ah, oh, okay, so where are we at? We want these empty canteens. We want to take them with us so we can fill them up somewhere. And we just need some feathers now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we go here... Um, oh, no, we, I guess we only needed four feathers. Okay, but that'll give us eight arrows in total. Okay, good. So I think we're good to go. And, yeah, let's head on out. How are we doing on nutrition? We're doing pretty good. Okay, yeah, let's go. So name of the game, of course, is Nails, as always. Um, maybe we'll stop down by the pond here uh, and fill up the canteens. And I'm just hoping that, you know, the hunters chill out and leave us alone. Uh, because, like I said, I haven't been messing with them at all. And the two times I think they did attack, I didn't retaliate. I just, you know, I, I killed whoever was at the base, but I didn't run after them like before because we just want to stay low-key for now. I, I still, you know, I mean, I know I say this a lot and hope you guys aren't tired of hearing me say it, but this game, holy shit, you guys, I, I, I'm still just trying to keep my head above water. <laughs> I really am. I have not gotten to the point yet where I can take a breather and say okay now we're actually making some progress it's just one day at a time survival here um so yeah pretty cray uh did i need to wash my hands i guess i did didn't i glad we didn't get infected but i do have an antidote okay so let's fill those up and um we might actually run these back to the base now and then head on out again Okay, here's a crate here, and it's a building crate. Come on, nails. All right, we got five nails out of that. Not too bad. Yeah, nails are uh, have have by far been the hardest resource for me to, you know, keep under control. I guess is the word in this game. I haven't food set has not been a problem. I still have. A fridge with lots of food in it and you know we can fish we can kill still kill rabbits and chickens in the winter as needed the food is just not an issue man it's just the nails that are have been such a pain in the ass uh, all right let's go ahead and throw all of you in there you guys can go in there um do I have enough here to make yeah let's make one magnum round sure why not I've got a, a lot of gunpowder. I've been making it, but it's the casings that are I'm pretty low on at this point. That doesn't go in there. That goes in here. Okay, let's take this canteen with us. I got uh, some extra protein bars, but why don't we top off some carbs. So I'll eat one of those and one of these. And you know what? I'm just going to eat a protein bar too, and we'll take these four with us. I don't want to take the time to cook something right now. we got to get moving. Daylight's a wasting. I haven't really noticed that the game changes the length of night and day, um, you know, based upon the season like it does in real life. It's pretty much the same as always, which is fine. Uh, I mean, if it stayed nighttime in winter for as long as it does in real life, that would make this game that much harder. Man, I'll tell you what, it doesn't need to be any harder than it already is, in my opinion. Of course, this is my first time playing, you know, so... Uh, when we do Season 2, which we probably will, because I'm still loving the game, you know, we'll be a little bit more seasoned with how things work. Um, you know, the one thing that's been a, a real big pain in the ass is not being near water. Um, you know, living in the cave, when it's all said and done probably wasn't as beneficial as I thought it was going to be. 
Um, so I don't think I'll do a cave thing again. Or if I do, there's a cave up to the north that's larger than the one I have, and it has two entrances, but they're pretty small entrances. Um, and might be a little easier to defend. So I don't know. We'll see. But e but that cave system is not near water either. I mean, so we'd still have that pain in the ass to have to deal with. Um, it's it's a place that some of the other YouTubers that play this game call Ortastic, and there, a lot of ore spawns above the cave on the rock. So I'll I'll show it to you guys at some point, you know, during this series, and we'll see though. I'm not I'm not so sure I want to actually do that or not. Okay, anyway, let's uh, kind of hang out down towards the south here. There, um, I think that's the hunter, one hunter camp that we've had several run-ins with. But uh, there aren't any hunter camps this way. We could, of course, run into some rogues. Um, I try and check at night to see where they are, but I kind of forgot to do that. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled and hopefully don't run into anybody. Oh, man, our axe is uh, getting down there. I have another one. So, yeah, we'll have to, uh, hopefully this will last for the rest of today. It doesn't really seem to lose durability chopping trees, or if, if it does, it's very, very slow. But, I maybe the durability that I've lost on it was more is more due to butchering. Which reminds me, and I've mentioned this too, I said, I don't, know, I don't understand why we don't have a hunting knife in this game. I mean, what kind of survival game doesn't have a hunting knife? <laughs> You'd think we'd have a hunting knife, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think we should. I think we got another protein bar. That's good. Yeah, so let's just kind of go along the, the lake here. I definitely want to kill rabbits. Not really too concerned with chickens because, again, we have lots of food. Um, And we have plenty of feathers. Uh, it's, the, it's the hide that the rabbits provide that's really the most valuable. Uh, this is a level one wolf. Oh shit, hold on. We might want to load this. Hello? Is there anything else I need to load? Uh, yeah, the magnum. We saved the magnum, of course, for... for hunters and more dangerous prey, but this guy... Um... Yeah, let's just... I don't want to take any chances of getting infected or anything. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have brought my hammer with me. Doggone it. Uh, we need to actually make a, a bandage. I don't have a bandage on me. Yeah, I think um, it's butchering that's maybe wearing the axe down. I don't know. Maybe not. not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. I'll bet it's, I'll bet it's breaking through the ice. Oh, shit. Yeah. And we need to do that to wash up, or do we? Uh, how are we doing on hydration? Uh, I don't want to lose the axe, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Ah, shit! You know what? I should have killed that other wolf first. Oh well, whatever. Let's go this direction. We'll kind of stay along the shore, look for crates, and uh, yeah, do our thing here. We'll, might as well hit some trees while we're at it too. There's a crate over there. But yeah, it's like, uh, it's, I've, I've been in, it's been like two or three times now where I finally get everything repaired and, you know, feel like, okay, now we can actually start adding on to the base or reinforcing or whatever. And then I get a big attack and they destroy a, a couple structures or just damage the shit out of everything and I end up using all of my nails to repair it. And it's just a vicious cycle, man. So again, my strategy right now is just just do not mess with the hunters at all. They're going to mess with us on occasion. When they do, we defend, but that's it. We don't go after them. Don't give them any cause at all to come after us. So we can build up, you know, get to the point where we can feel like we can do something. And, uh, you know, at some point they're going to they're going to pay for their sins. I guarantee you that's going to happen. It is an absolute, but not yet. We're just not ready for that right now. 
So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's chopping the ice that's buggered up my axe now that I think about it. I probably, the axe probably won't last long enough to chop more. Uh, to chop more ice at this point. I've got another one, like I said, back at the base, but I don't want to go back to the base until we're ready to, so. Medicinal plants, medicinal plants, and fiber. Nice. Okay, we want to be kind of... Oh, no, I guess we're at the fence here, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, chopping trees doesn't seem to phase the act. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I got a... Uh, I got a out-of-space disk error message uh, right in the middle of that recording. I had a whole bunch of uh, recordings um, that I had needed, you know, to move off to my archive drive. And uh, so, yeah, anyway... We're back. So what I was about to say, or what I started saying, I think, when the recording borked out, is, you know, we have these white wolves in the winter now, and uh, those bastards are hard to see, man. There's been a couple of times when I've damn near just walked right up, up to it without seeing it until it was too late and it was attacking me. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there's a white wolf right down there. They're a lot harder to see than you might think. So, yeah. Hey, let's try something something yeah let's try something i want to try something let's go out on the lake um we'll kind of go to the end of the map here we got the fence line running up this way and then i want to kind of go out on the lake and just see how far we can go out there just for funsies just for something to do well, it's not like we don't have anything to do, but you know what I mean. Um, let's leave the wolf alone, only because I have any way to wash my hands, and the axe will break if we try and do the ice. I think I'm going to take all the wood that we've done so far and just start converting this into planks. Or later building. There's an island out there. I wonder what that could be interesting living on an island. I guess the thing that would probably be a pain in the ass about that is every time you wanted to get resources, you'd have to swim across the lake. But let's go look at this island actually. I'm just curious as to the feasibility of something like that. I'm assuming the fence just keeps running along this way. And I guess the other question about that too is do hunters, can hunters swim? Hmm. If hunters can't swim, now they've, they have to be able to, because otherwise how would you get, how would you get attacked out here? This island is plenty large enough. To build a base on. Interesting, man. I'm intrigued. I mean, you wouldn't want to build a base in a place where hunters couldn't attack because you're, you know, you're kind of screwing the game that in that case. But I'm just curious, if you did build here, what would happen? Do they swim? Do they actually swim across the water? Well, I mean, they should have to. In the winter time, of course, they could get get to you because they just run across the ice, but. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Something to think about. Something to think about. Uh, let's put our bandage down here. <coughs> By the way, if I didn't already mention it, it is January. We are probably, I don't know. We have five days in each month. Uh, because we have 60 days per year. And I think we're maybe on... We're either on day two or day three of January. I can't remember. The funny thing about it, though, is that the lakes froze over oh, about halfway through December, I think. But the game did a pop-up message saying to use the axe to break into the ice on the first day of January. But it's like, okay, well, you know, you're like two or three days late on letting me know that. I mean, I knew that's what you needed to do anyways, but I just thought that was kind of funny.
All right, let's go. Let's kind of follow the fence line and see uh, what it does. I mean, can we even get over to that side at all? I don't know. I'm just just curious is all. It's probably not the best use of our time, but you know what? Every every moment's a struggle in this game. We got to take a cup a little bit of time now and then just to check stuff out for the hell of it. So I'm just curious how far does it go on the other side of the lake? Uh, okay, there's a wolf over there, which would seem to suggest that we can actually get to the other side of the lake. Huh, interesting. I kind of figured the lake was the the border. All right, let's kind of explore over here just a little bit. We are like across the li oh, I see what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, we've we've actually been over here. We're just going to kind of cross over to this area. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Oh shit, there's hunters. Those are rogues, of course. It doesn't look like they've spotted us. I don't want to mess with them. I don't have enough ammunition to waste on those guys, and they don't give us anything good anyway. Okay, let's let them just do their thing over there. We'll just kind of walk across the lake and maybe see if we can go up through that little draw there without uh, aggroing those dudes. This is kind of neat, though, just to come out here and explore. I think after we kind of close the gap here, I think I've pretty much been everywhere on the map by now. If not in my single-player game, between this and the multiplayer game, at least. Uh, we're way up in the north in our multiplayer game. Okay. Okay. No, let's just keep going south and see how far we can go. Might as well cut some more wood. Trying to be a little bit uh, productive while we're exploring. Plus the fact that we got to regen our stamina. Ah, oh, it's just another stupid wolf. I wish I would have noticed that my axe was as damaged as it is. Or I would have brought the, the other one. All right, are we still making planks? Let's make more planks. I have a raw, raw wood back at the base anyway, so we might as well plank up, baby. Right, let's look at the map for a second. Right, okay. Going up into this basin here in the southwest is kind of kind of cool lots of lots of snow fields and stuff and there's a river and all that um we might kind of go that way i guess might as well hit the grub trees i don't think i'd want to go up in the snow fields right now though it's probably way colder than what we can handle at the moment it'd be very nice if we could come across a locked crate There's the fence there. There's a chest and another grub tree and a wolf. <coughs> okay, let's kind of skirt around the wolf there. Um looked like a structure for a minute there. Okay. I have no water on me at all, right? Yeah. Oh, man, that sucks that I didn't bring that other axe, but I didn't, so it is what it is. I'd like to be back at the base by nightfall just because we might get a, a nighttime attack, so we're there. You know, the nice thing about me being at the base is if I'm there and I'm actively fighting them, 
And they're not just unloading everything they got on the base itself and destroying it. Of course, on the other hand, they are hitting me and messed me up, but, you know, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's just kind of six one half does the other, I guess, but it's almost easier for me to bandage myself up than it is to fix the damn base up without nails, you know? Okay, let's hit this tree. So yeah, I've been up uh, all up kind of at the foot of the mountain across the river there. It's pretty neat territory. Um, but we need to start thinking about getting back to the base. So we're going to kind of just make a beeline straight back to the base. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't get an attack before we can get back there. We're a little far out. I don't think we're going to make it by nightfall, but let's just see what happens. Oh, shit. That's the big base. Yeah. You know what? Actually, we're not that far away after all. Um, yeah, those bastards have attacked us a couple, couple, three times now. I think the last time they attacked, they sent three dudes after me. Let's see if we can ninja this nail crate out from under their nose without getting shot at. Alright, let's go back this way. Yeah, the t you know, their, their time's going to come, man. We, we'll we get to the point where we are decked out. We have our own grenades and molotovs and claymores or whatever. And uh, we are going to put the hurt on all three of these bastards. But that time is not now. Right now, as I've mentioned, we're just trying to keep keep our head above water. the frozen cr crick there. Come on, nails. Nope, it's not nails. The game seems to give you an inordinate amount of electronics. I mean, or maybe it, maybe not. Maybe I'm, I will get to the point where I need all of that stuff later on, but it, so far it seems like it's a bit more there. I'd rather have more nails and less electronics. See? God damn it. We didn't even get a single nail in that. Do we have a blueberry? We do back at the base. We'll turn that into a blueberry water. Okay, what? So let's take out this wolf because I have water back at the base to wash up. Shit. Oh, he's not dead. Ah, shit. Oh! Oh, no. I thought... I mean, 9 out of 10 times when you do a point-blank shot on these guys, it kills them straight up, but... Not that time. Son of a bitch. Oh, that was bad luck. Alright, let's go get our shit. And we're infected, but I do have an, an, an antibiotic for that. Oh, man, what a bunch of shit. It's just bad luck, you know? I mean, a point-blank range shot, and somehow or another, that asshole survived it. Probably just didn't connect with them as solidly as I thought it was going to. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's dead. How? Wait a minute. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's dead. But there's another wolf there. What the hell? Oh, come on, man. So we did manage to kill. Oh, did we get killed by a different wolf? Oh, no. Is that what happened? All right. Well, let's pull this guy. Whoa, shit. Away. We can see the other hunter camp down there. All right. I don't want him to actually chase me. Because we have bad stamina and health. But at least we got him away from this stuff. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I did actually kill that guy. But the white wolf got us. That's what it appears. That's why I was so surprised. It's like, really? We didn't do that? Alright, where is that bastard? Oh, we got a, a, a fresh axe out of the deal. Here, let's get that on. We'll turn this into rags. 
and get this guy butchered and we got to get back to the base. All right, so I did kill him. We just got nailed by a white wolf of all the rotten luck, man. Okay, let's go. Our health is in terrible condition. I'd rather not use my medipack if I don't have to. Let's just see if we can get back and get warmed up. Wow, that was bad luck. That was really bad luck. Here I thought I screwed up and didn't aim right. Sort of. And that's not what happened at all. I got nailed by a friggin' white wolf. Like I said, man, those bastards are hard to see. Okay, we made it back safe and sound. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we'd call that safe and sound. Let's buy another spawn point. Whew. Okay, stoke the fire. Uh, let's put the meat in here. Uh, butcher you, put you in there, and you in there. Um, all right. Let's put you two in there. We'll make ourselves a blueberry water. And I'm just going to keep that in the refrigerator for now. Yeah, man, that was... <laughs> Bullshit. That was bullshit. Oh no. Oh, cotton seeds. Nice. You know what though? Hmm. Yeah, let's plant them. I guess. We still have the rest of January and all of February before it even begins to warm up, so. Alright, let's put all this stuff back in here. Oh man, that sucked. That sucked, but you know what can you do, right? What can you do? Another bandage back. We'll put this iron in here and uh, do that. Okay, we got some more. No, not those. Uh, we got some more boards. We have 35 boards and 20 nails. And I think we're pretty well repaired. I'm, we're not 100% there, but we're pretty close. So we could actually consider maybe starting to build something uh, with those nails. But yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, this was a relatively chill episode. So I think we're going to let you go here. We went out and did some exploring. We got n totally wrecked by a white wolf that we didn't even see. But at least we did kill the wolf that we <laughs> meant to kill. And yeah, so here we are. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go here. And as usual, probably spend the next few days again just going out and looking for nails because I can't really progress until I get enough nails to start doing some more building and stuff like that. And again, I'll bring you back with an update at some point, and we will continue on. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.